guys welcome back you are back for another review today I am reviewing this beautiful set from Too Faced this is the Le Grand Chateau part of their holiday collection and I am getting awful light there is a good picture isn't it gorgeous and this beautiful piece of work retails for $49 and oops sorry and you can buy it at Sephora Ulta, Too Faced.com and I, there's probably other places that you could get it. I am going to swatch all of the eyeshadows in here. In here you get 18 eyeshadows, you get three blushes and a mascara. So you're getting a lot for your money. $50 is a lot to spend on makeup, but I do think that this would make a really great holiday present if you know someone who is obsessed with makeup if I would have got this for Christmas I mean I bought it as a birthday present to myself but if I would have got this for Christmas I would have loved whoever bought that for me forever and eternity um let's just open it up you, let's just open it up you take the little roof off up here and you open the doors to the Grand Chateau and inside you get this beautiful Parisian apartment I'll take out the palettes for now and see you got a little chasse or a chair you have a little picture of the Eiffel Tower there and you have dress forms on the inside and it's just beautiful as I said in the haul video that I showed this in I bought this just for the box because really the box is gorgeous and just getting the makeup to go with it was icing on the cake um, you get inside here there is a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara I've never tried this before I tried it on today and honestly I'm not a big fan. It's really wet and clumpy, but the wand is just huge. I mean, that's a big wand. My eyelids, my eyes are just too small and I felt like I couldn't even like get it in to get to my lashes. So a lot to handle and I'm not so sure I like it. And then you get uh, these and these have little to and froms on here. So this would even be great to like split up and put into girls stockings as a stocking stuffer if you've got a couple of girls you just want to knock out all at once inside you have six eyeshadows and a blush the only thing that could have made these palettes better is if there was a mirror here i think that is one thing that's seriously lacking so i brought you down on the floor so i could get some better lighting the sun was getting in the way so here's the first palette and i'm just going to share with you the uh, eyeshadows first this is and I cannot speak French so I'm gonna butcher all of these names but we have pot de cream which is a beautiful cream color we have Fifi which is kind of like that great in the crease color we have La Femme which is a deep brown we also have Bonjour which is kind of like a bronzy color we have Merci which is just a great um, brown and this one is showing up slightly darker in camera than it actually is and then we have we which is a brown with some golden flecks and then we have mademoiselle which is a gorgeous peach color blush here is here is pot of cream pot du cream whatever you want to call it fifi and then la femme okay and then next we have bonjour merci and we which look at that look at we that is gorgeous i will put these on the back of my hand here just look how pretty and sparkly those are these are very pigmented but as you can see with we there was some serious fallout so you just have to be careful with some of these shades and i will show you merci very quickly and it's just very gorgeous I'm trying to and I'm trying to show you Mercy, it's just not showing up as well, but it's just a very beautiful peach color. There you go, you can see a little bit right here. Very pretty, very subtle too, I really like that. Alright, so next up we have this pretty pink one, and inside you have more of the more feminine flirty colors. We have Amore, which is another nice matte highlight. We have Fleur, and Jatam... Chateme? Question mark. Um, and these are just very nice pink colors. We also have Moi, which is a very subtle, like, taupe color. Um, Cherry, which is a beautiful silvery gray. And then we have Tout Sweet, which is a brown with a little bit of purple in it. And then we have a bronzer here. And the bronzer is called Jolie. <coughs> here is Amour, Fleur, and Jat. Jatem? I can't speak French. Why am I trying? 
Okay, and then next we have Moi, Cherry, and Toot Sweet. And here is the bronzer. The bronzer might be a little orange for some people. I think it would be a little too orange for me as I'm like very, very pale. But this would also make a great like eyeshadow if you're in the pinch because it is just very nice and it's very, it feels very silky when you apply it to like just running my fingers through it. I'm just like, wow, it's so silky. Here's a close up to very shimmery bronzer too so I definitely wouldn't use it to contour but as a nice overall the but as a nice overall bronzer this would be really great and then lastly you have a black one with a pink bow and in here you have some really nice smoky colors and a very vibrant purple so you have La, La Marie I think is how you pronounce that rendezvous Province, Parfait, Très Chic, and Noir, and the blush is called Très Fab. Now this highlight here and here, the La Marie, is a satin, so the other two we were matte, and this is more of a satin, so it goes really great for the inner corner. And then Rendezvous is another great in the crease color. And then check out Province. Isn't it just the most pretty purple you've ever seen? And for once, you know, purple is really hard to pull off making an eyeshadow for. But this just works so nicely. The formula is great. The pigmentation is great. And normally that's really hard to do with a purple. I like in this one that there are two blacks. So this is Parfait. This is a really nice subtle like shimmery champagne color then we have Très Chic which is a black with purple sparkle and then Noir which is a matte black and I love this black too so let me because look at those blacks aren't those amazing look at Très Chic isn't that stunning this is one that I am a little afraid to use but it's just so pretty and lastly Très Fab the blush is just a very run-of-the-mill Bright pink looks really nicely. I'm actually wearing this as my blush today. Um, here is it swatch. It's very just run of the mill pink. Nothing too spectacular about it, but I do really like the pigmentation. You do have to be very careful with it because it can it can apply a little crazily. So, so my over. I can't say that I really have a favorite. Of these three palettes I kind of use them all interchangeably because I feel like some of these you just need other shadows to complete the look like the pink one with all these like really soft tones you need a darker color to go in the crease and it doesn't have a black which I like to use black to line my upper lash line but I really love using um, I really love the matte highlight in here I really like that um, and in the black one, I really like Noir. It's the matte black. This works perfectly to line my upper lash line. I use it almost every single day. Um, I also really, really like in the blue one. I just, this is the one that I reach for a lot. And because I really enjoy using uh, neutral tones. And I really like the blush in here as well. So I really, yeah, I really cannot pick one of the three that I like better. I just, I use them all. And what I really think is great is these are so travel friendly. Even if you wanted to take all three of them, this does not take up a lot of room in your makeup bag. Like this is a small amount. You get to take blushes and bronzer and eyeshadows all in just three little palettes. You could take one, you could take all three, and all you need to throw in is some lipstick and mascara and you're good to go. Bottom line, I think this is a great set. Some improvements could be used. Like I really think that these palettes need a mirror because I just don't know how to function without a mirror even though I use my bathroom mirror. So I guess it's not like diet. I guess it's like not essential but I would still prefer to have one just if I was in a just if I was in a pinch and needed one. The, the eyeshadows are really great. I think I don't know, I feel like the blue and the pink could use some deeper shades, like a close to black or something. Um, but I really, really do like how they incorporated some color with the purple, and you got the sparkles in some of them. You have a great mixture 
of matte and satin and shimmer. I do think this is a really great set. If I had to do it all again, I would still buy this set. I think it would be a great present uh, for either for someone or for yourself because let's be real, we all have to treat ourselves sometime. Um, I think I have covered everything. Please leave a comment down below. If you do have any other questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Bye!